uh, the, uh, when the embryo starts to develop, it's inside a layer that is called zona pellucida. And when the embryo has to be, it has to implantate, it's necessary that the embryo started to go out of the, of the, of the layer because it helps the embryo to implant into the uterus. So when we have an embryo that is starting to hatch or that is fully hatched, it's a very, very good sign because it, it, it's more sticky than if it's inside the, the layers. So it helps the, the embryo to implant and once it's implanted into the uterus, it's easy to start develop, developing. So it's true that there, uh, if the embryo is not hatching, it can't hatch inside the embryo, in, inside the uterus, sorry. But if we have um, the embryo already hatched or hatching in the lab and we transfer this embryo, it, uh, it also has very good outcomes. And it's a sign of very good quality of the embryo because the embryo has had, had, has the, the ability to break naturally this zona pellucida and to start going out. So this is a very good sign for the embryo development. That means that the embryo uh, hasn't stopped development and it's going to continue develop inside the, the uterus. So it helps to, to the implantation and also it will help to have a positive result in in the blood test of of the of the pregnancy but we also we never have to forget that it, it's not a warranty of 100% of success because we have other things that can affect this implantation so it's it's true that it's a very good sign but we don't have to forget that there are other um, other factors like the endometrial reception has to be adequate and other other things that can affect. But yeah, to have uh, embryo hatching is a very, very good sign. And it's a, it means that the embryo has very good quality.